Hi everyone, welcome to our mini lecture Assessing Kirkpatrick's Level 1 Student Reaction. Let's start off with a little terminology. Uh, reaction is defined to include things such as feelings. For example, how do you feel about our IM chat reference service? Comfort level, how comfortable are you asking for help? And satisfaction. For example, how satisfied or happy are you with the information presented today? The indicator or measure often used, in, and in our case will be used, is student feedback. And the method to capture this feedback tends to be the feedback form or the survey. And what can be assessed with student feedback? Well, for example, you can assess the workshop venue and logistics, which includes but not limited to presentation format, instructor skills, and the classroom environment. Is it too hot, too cold, things like that. You can also assess things like library anxiety or information confidence, which includes things such as using library resources, navigating the building, or asking a librarian for help. So in the process of using feedback forms over a number of years, we've come up with a couple of tips that I'd like to share with you. Uh, they're based on our experience and on the assumption that most of the feedback is going to occur in the last five to ten minutes of the instruction session. Uh, and first one is we've discovered to use paper forms. It's a bit analog in this digital age, but there's a couple of serious advantages that we've we realized. One of them is saves time to log in and find the online form. And instead of having to do that and use that time, students can be using the time to fill out the paper form. It also improves the response rate. We were running from 50 to 60 percent with an online form and it went up to 80 to 90 percent with the paper form. Uh, one of the ways that it also saves time is that we have them already printed out and placed at each desk that the students will be sitting at before they arrive. And then they're ready for the students to complete any time during the session. Some of them do, most wait till the end though. There are some disadvantages with using paper forms, which uh, the two main ones are it adds time for manual data entry. So the time is added to the process and you have to, you know, you can use student help and nonetheless the data has to be manually entered. Then it also adds the time and the cost of, act, of the actual paper and the copying and the actual doing of the copying. But we find out the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. And another thing we found particularly useful is using a mixture of rating and comment items. Rating items such as Likert scales, yes-no responses that produce quantitative results, but also comment type items like free text responses. For example, uh, how did you think the instructor could improve their presentation? And this produces qualitative results. And the advantages that we have found is that you capture a broader, richer range of data and you capture more data. And you capture more data because students in a hurry will at least complete the quantitative items, in other words, the ratings. And those with more time and inclination or have something to say will take the time to finish comment items. Uh, the disadvantages, of course, is you now have a more complex data analysis situation where you have to analyze not only quantitative but also qualitative data. And that, that in turn requires more time for data entry and of course for data analysis.